Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with an update on the pending uh, winter weather situation here across the Oracle Tax. We do still have the winter storm warning in place as well as a winter weather advisory. You can see a live view uh, a little after 8 o'clock this evening in Texarkana. Nothing significant on the ground. A few ice patches reported on uh, roadways over parts of uh, southwest Arkansas right now, but uh, not too bad uh, pretty much everywhere else. Let's take a look at uh, current temperatures across the area. You can see we're down to 27 in Shreveport, 18 right now in Texarkana, 24 in Marshall, and 24 degrees also the current temperature in Longview. You might be wondering, well, how can we possibly uh, have uh, sleet or freezing rain? Why isn't it all snow? Well, the problem is this is a look at uh, basically the results of the weather balloon that was sent up earlier this evening. You can see right in here, right around say about 3,000 to uh, say 7,000 feet, a layer in the atmosphere where temperatures are above freezing. Uh, and uh, the, what's going to determine what we experience is uh, how deep is the, the cold layer from uh, that warm layer down to the surface? Will it be freezing rain or will it be snow across the, or I should say sleet across the southern half of the area? Right now it looks like we could see more sleet uh, over much of the area, especially between Texarkana and Shreveport and more freezing rain further to the south. So that being said, of course, you factor in the wind that we have, wind chills in the single digits and teens across the area. Here's a quick look at uh, Pinpoint Doppler, and I'll put this in the motion here during the past hour early this evening. You can see the majority of the precipitation kind of setting up between Shreveport and Texarkana, especially here in East Texas. Uh, uh, our cameras near Marshall pretty much iced over right now, so we have seen uh, mainly freezing rainfall so far, but we could see a, a little bit more sleep mix in. It still looks like uh, the majority of the precipitation north of Texarkana will be snow, especially later on tonight. Here's a look at uh, Robin Sawyer to Futurecast. Areas of pink indicate that mix of freezing rain and sleet. The blue areas represent snow, and you can see that we will see a little bit more snow near and north of Texarkana, uh, near Interstate 30 as we go through the latter stages of the nighttime hours tonight. And notice that it's mainly that winter mix elsewhere as this moves forward. You can see the precipitation will gradually come to an end tomorrow, uh, probably in the morning over the northwestern sections of the area and during the afternoon in East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. We will see the clouds decrease tomorrow night. That's going to allow temperatures to tumble uh, well into the teens. We'll talk about the impact on wind chills tomorrow night in a second. And then Tuesday, probably we'll see some, if we have some bad travel conditions on Monday, they may improve somewhat Tuesday with some sunshine. Temperatures uh, trying to warm up closer to freezing, but that sun will work to warm the uh, roads up a bit. So that may allow for some melting, but that will only refreeze as we dip well below freezing once again. Uh, Tuesday night and then Wednesday we'll see plenty of sunshine and temperatures well above freezing. Now this is where we could see the various precipitation types. Blue areas against snow mainly over southwest Arkansas. You can see Futurecast shows the sleet uh, across uh, the areas between Texarkana and Shreveport and it does show some freezing rain as far north possibly as Texarkana uh, moving forward but the majority of the uh, freezing rain by itself will be over the southern sections of the area. Here's a look at uh, accumulation possibilities. Uh, the high res models including what you're seeing here at Futurecast have backed off a bit on snowfall potential now keeping the totals up to an inch over southwest Arkansas. Sleet potential, if we see the majority of the precipitation fall as sleet, we could see upwards of a half an inch of accumulation of uh, sleet uh, overnight. And of course, uh, the freezing rain accumulation still looks like if it were to all be freezing rain, it'd be a tenth, maybe two over East Texas and Northwest Louisiana, which obviously would be enough to cause some travel issues with temperatures tomorrow morning in the teens and 20s. Uh, as far as tomorrow night, our attention will turn to the bitter cold. We'll see temperatures in the single digits and teens. Notice the wind chills Tuesday morning dipping uh, pretty close to zero across a good chunk of the area. We do have a wind chill advisory in place as well as a hard freeze warning in place. So make sure you do the necessary precautions to protect the plumbing uh, and uh, especially the pets bring those uh, uh, pets in as well uh, during the extreme cold. So your forecast tonight, a winter mix is uh, likely across the area, more snow north sleet freezing rain further to the south. We'll see 23 tonight in Shreveport, 16 in Texarkana, 18 degrees in Atlanta. Tomorrow we likely stay well below freezing at most locations, only 27 in Shreveport, 24 
in Texarkana and 26 degrees uh, will be the high temperature in Marshall. 10 day forecast shows some sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday, a 31 Tuesday up to 45 Wednesday and we should get back to normal by Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, a little bit of a chance for some rain and then we'll see a better chance for some rain heading into the first of next week when some warmer air will return. You can see those highs by next week should return to the 60s across the area. So again, uh, be extra cautious uh, in traveling here for the rest of the night tonight as well as uh, Monday and Tuesday for that matter if you don't have to not recommended until things improve a bit and that probably will happen just a little on Tuesday and we should get back to normal as we look ahead to Wednesday.